Hi, what's going on guys? It's Tom Mason here and I've teamed up with The Photography Show to give you a couple of quick tips for improving your wildlife photography this winter. Now, you know, soon it's going to be Christmas and that means a lot of time eating, drinking, spending time with loved ones and of course enjoying quite a bit of cracking TV. The Great Escape, The Grinch and all of those home alones, you know, you're gonna spend a lot of time on the sofa and probably not focused on your wildlife photography. But one thing you can do whilst you're sat there is to improve your hand holding by pretty much just holding your camera. If you're sat there and you've got a long film or something like that, just picking up your camera and holding it for little 10 minute intervals is gonna result in you improving your upper body strength and just getting really comfortable holding a heavy camera. It's gonna mean that when you crack on and get out in the field, be it in the new year or in the next couple of days after Christmas, you're just gonna feel a lot better holding a long lens. You're gonna be more stable to hold it and nail those shots when you're out on location. Really quick tip and one that you can make the most of this winter so you don't feel so good guilty when you're sat in front of the TV. Now, the next thing to do in the winter is to make sure that you are prepared for snow. Um, one of the things in the UK especially is that the weather people aren't that great and it seems to come out of nowhere. So make sure that you've always got a plan written up and ready to go so that when you wake up and that lovely blanket of white snow is there, you know exactly where you're going and exactly what you're looking for to get your shots. It's gonna mean that you're not worrying and running about trying to think of what you could go and photograph, that you've got a detailed plan, you can get onto location and get those shots straight away. Way. For me, you know, in the past, I've been lucky enough to photograph foxes and stuff like that in the snow, as well as your local birds. And all of those little projects that you can have ready on hand and ready to go means you'll make the most of those winter opportunities to get some really nice shots. Now, when you're out shooting in the winter, one of the things that you'll find is that batteries of cameras die quite quickly. So one of the things that's really good to do is to make sure that you, um, Keep your batteries warm. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is to stick them inside your jacket. For me, a down jacket works best because when I'm sitting around for long hours in the cold, these just keep you so warm. Um, so pretty much zip your batteries up, put them in your internal pockets. And one of the things you can do is make sure that you replace them in and out of your camera on a regular basis. It just means that they're gonna hold their charge for that little bit longer and you're gonna get more time out in the field and you're not gonna lose juice at that absolute key moment when that fox steps out into the snow. Now, now, when you come back inside out of the cold, one of the most important things you've got to do to look after your electronics is make sure that it warms up slowly. Don't go ahead and get all your camera gear out straight into the warm because what will happen is it will warm up very quickly and the internals can actually start to fog up inside, meaning you'll damage those expensive cameras, you know, and yeah, nobody wants to do that. So one of the ways that you can do this is make sure that, you know, with your big cameras and everything like that, package them in your camera bag before you bring them inside and just leave it to the side to slowly warm you know out in the porch and then slowly move it into the house just to warm up that camera gear gradually now if you've only got one camera say it's around your neck or something like that one great thing to do is have a plastic bag um, you know just grabbing a plastic bag and putting the camera inside you want to get all of the air out of it as much as you can and then pretty much cinch it down and give it a nice couple of twists Use an elastic band to seal it off and then you know just leave it somewhere reasonably cool in your house to warm up slowly. The reduction in the air around the camera is gonna mean, again, it's just gonna warm up slowly and gradually come back to room temperature. It means it's gonna protect your expensive electronics from warming too quickly and getting any internal moisture, meaning your camera is gonna be working for the rest of the season. So there you have it, a couple of quick tips for getting out and shooting this winter and making the most of the wildlife photography opportunities on your doorstep. Have a fantastic Christmas, enjoy the holiday period and if you are going to pick up anything this year make sure you get your tickets for the photography show i'm going to be in the behind the lens theater talking about wildlife photography so if you'd like to pick up some more tips make sure you come along to that you can also check out my channel on youtube it's tom mason photo and it's here there's a load of other videos uh, that i've got on there but thank you very much for watching and yeah crack on shooting